How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I unlock three more Season 1 Team Affinity Diamond cards so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now we have to remember that this is also just Chapter 1. We have three chapters within each season for Team Affinities but as you can see I have Giancarlo Stanton, Carlos Correa, Joey Votto, Charlie Blackman and then I also exchanged my Byron Buxton card for a different Cornerstone player. Hopefully you guys all have your Cornerstone packs and uh, you can actually lock in all four of the options. You can do this exchange, lock in the card for the Season 1 collection, and then exchange it back for a different one and complete the process over again. So you can have all four of those guys locked in, but you can only have one of them in your binder, one of them on your squad, at, at least as of right now. We might be able to get another one of those Cornerstone players a little bit later. But as you can see, I'm using the Kodai Senga Boost. I just wanted to kind of help you at least understand that but how I'm able to complete these team affinities pretty quickly is just by going through this showdown I think they kind of made showdown a little bit better this year in terms of you get these vouchers you get four vouchers every other uh, showdown you complete so uh, with that said there's eight missions in total you get four of those vouchers the first one you go up against Granky the second one you go up against a different pitcher and then you get a voucher after that second uh, mission is completed and then you can kind of exchange these you need 60,000 XP in order to get uh, that first reward and then I believe you get this second reward at 100k then I think it's like 130 or 140,000 and then uh, it's of every 30 or 40,000 after that so uh, with that being said you can get a really good team early on in the game cycle with just these team affinity players I made a video where I kind of ranked them I didn't put any numbers on the screenshots but I definitely think I uh, rank those guys pretty good. I have been uh, playing the showdown, trying them all out. And I really wanted to go with this Charlie Blackman card. He's probably been my best hitter in terms of uh, going up against the CPU. Now, I did also play a game of ranked seasons or a couple games of ranked seasons. I included some highlights in uh, that previous video where I ranked some of the Team Affinity cards. Let me know which cards you're going to go after. I'm trying to get that Gary Sanchez next as well as Justin Turner kind of need two more right-handed hitters and then I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of those uh, closing pitchers but you do get a lot of good packs along the way here we get a diamond this is my third or fourth diamond pull I think it's my fourth diamond pull I've pulled Blake Snell I pulled Bryce Harper Mickey Mantle and now Edwin Diaz so yeah that's four of them and uh, Edwin Diaz not the best you know in terms of his pitch mix but he definitely throws hard uh, good relievers are hard to get early on in the year or at least most of the time. I could have selected uh, Billy Wagner here, but you already saw that I picked up Giancarlo Stanton. Billy Wagner would be the guy I'm going after next in this pack. I actually wasn't sure. I was thinking about selecting him right here, um, kind of just debating, looking at the different players. That Vladimir Guerrero is another card that, uh, if you've ever used Vlad cards, he's always really solid. Um, but I did go ahead and select Giancarlo Stanton, 2014 All-Star card. Really, really good. He was actually a collection a few years ago. Like, you had to collect some equipment items, I believe, in MLB The Show 18. And that was a really good card. He was like a 97 overall or maybe like a 94 or something like that. Um, anyway, we get an NL Central pack here. I also want to get Yasmani Grandal from this pack. And uh, potentially Sammy Sosa. That potential, uh, that Sammy Sosa card could be very good with the Byron Buxton boost. Uh, he's already a pretty good defensive player. Then you just boost up his contact and his speed. Actually, no, his boost up his power and his speed as well as some fielding. Um, but we get some ball and as a habit packs in this. Haven't really got anything out of the ball and as a habit pack quite yet. There's a pretty good gold card. And then to finish it off, we're going to go ahead and pick up that Charlie Blackman that you saw at the beginning. But I just wanted to kind of show you at least how to accomplish this pretty quickly. It takes me about 20 to 30 minutes in order to complete one of these showdowns. If you do the team affinity moments, then you really only need to do four or five of these showdowns in order to get to that 60K. Uh, for a couple of them, they have four missions. A couple of them only have three. You might have to do some uh, extra things in order to get to that 60K. But really solid uh, all-around program, team affinity grind so far. Until next time, peace out.